This is the Iron Man 2 uh, Walmart exclusive movie series 6 inch Mark V. It is a wonderful, wonderful, awesome figure. And kudos to Hasbro for doing yet another marvelous job on, on an excellent figure. This is the the six inch figures are just very, very, very good and well done and and I'm happy to say that Hasbro has been improving on, on this particular uh, scale of figures. Here's the um packaging um, if anyone's interested it's exactly the same format as the previously released uh, Mark 6 and War Machine from Walmart um, if you are in Manila and you're wondering where I obtained this figure um, I purchased him at R Toys at V Mall in Green Hills so if you're in the Manila area uh, you might want to check this figure out or uh, and um, for those of you who are interested in size comparisons, here he is with the uh, the three and three quarter scale of the Mark V. Obviously, uh, by a mile, this guy beats this guy. Uh, not to take anything away from the three and three quarters Mark V. I love this figure, but uh, the 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 paint, the sculpt of this figure just really pales in comparison. Uh, with the six inch version it's a nice fun figure to play with um, to just display and have with the other uh, three and three quarter figures but really if you look at the detail this one just really takes the cake because he's just even the mold they used on him down to the last detail down to the paint application is just far far better than this one this one's just missing a few silver pieces here and there but but nevertheless you know they're both good representations of the mark five the movie armor. So there. Um, suitcase, clearly very different from the suitcase that came with this guy. Um, the, the original, the, the 3 and 3 quarter suitcase is functional. It has missiles that launch and it, it does open up with some detailing. This one on the other hand is really a brick. It's just a paperweight, a light paperweight that's, that's just been sculpted very well and painted very nicely. Nice metallic finish, the same as that they've used on the figure. It doesn't do well if he just holds on to it. Or I think Hasbro intended this just to be displayed with the figure as sort of like a before and after uh, kind of thing. So we'll keep it there. On to the figure. I mean, it's, it's, it's so admirable it's just looking at this figure, and you can't help wonder what what Hasbro is going to come up next with with the six inch figure scale uh, everything from the down to the last millimeter of this figure is well detailed and well sculpted and that you, you, you begin to see that, that the designers really spent a lot of time with this figure the other accessories that came with this figure are two other pairs of hands or fists he comes packaged with the open hands you can replace it with the clenched fists to give him that more uh, meaner look. I get you, Whiplash. Anyway, uh, that's nice. And as you probably guessed, he comes with the semi open or semi clenched uh, fists, which has only one, one real legitimate reason for existing, it's to hold himself. Uh, not entirely sure fans are going to go gaga about this feature. I mean, you holding the whole idea of holding what it was before. I mean, this this just doesn't this just just doesn't work for me. I'm I'm sorry, Hasbro, but um, it's okay. I mean, I'm glad they gave him another set of arms. Maybe it's just to hold on to something. Maybe the whips of Whiplash, if they do come out with a six-inch Whiplash, but. Uh, as of now, I don't think you'd want to have him holding the suitcase. Maybe just have him posed. So, let me get rid of those semi-closed fists and keep one, one fist open and one fist closed. And we can talk more about the figure. Uh, figure's well articulated um, uh, with some a lot of improvement on, on some of the designs of the mold. Um, the head is on a ball joint, uh, a little bit hindered, doesn't move up or down as much. It does move sideways, which is fine. Upper torso is in a ball joint, hinge ball jointed shoulders, ro uh, rotating biceps, double jointed elbows, and a hinge ball joint wrist. No waist articulation, 
he's got a hinge ball joint uh, hip hips but uh, they are a little bit hindered because of the sculpt of the lower torso he's got a swivel uh, bicep uh, uh, thigh uh, he's got double jointed knees and a ball jointed ankle I would have wished they've given him a um, a swivel ankle the one that could move sidewards up or down and rotate but they just gave it a ball joint I think yeah it's just a ball joint which is fine no big deal uh, you don't even have to get this guy into into a really really fantastic pose just have him stand up and he's just wonderful the other thing noteworthy about this figure is the way they've they've really molded in the uh, the shoulder pads it's just an extension a soft rubbery plastic extension of the torso piece and it just con con conforms very well to the contour of the arms when you spread the arms which is a lot better than the uh, the ones on hinges or the, the oh god oh god forbid they won't do that again the uh, detachable clip-on shoulder pad that's just completely annoying from the first movie six inch figures at any rate this is a wonderfully sculpted figure. Again, just to reiterate how well they've sculpted this guy. They've even uh, made striations and, and some grooves on his faceplate, which I'm not sure the camera is picking up very well. Just to show you that the mask wasn't a completely whole piece um, because it came folded and it unfolded when it was transformed from the suitcase. But very, very nice, very nice figure indeed. Um, I'm very happy, very pleased to have it. I highly recommend this figure. If you can find him on retail, I suggest you, you don't even have to think about it. You have to pick up this figure. If you want a very movie accurate figure, um, if you want something more than just a three and three quarters figure, I highly recommend you get this particular figure. It, it, it is a wonderful figure. Even if you have to spend a little bit, even if you have to spend just a little bit more to get him, I, I think he is a definite, definitely worthy purchase. Anyway, before you guys start telling me to get a room with this figure, I am going to stop this review at this point and let you guys just uh, marvel at this wonderful piece by Hasbro. So there you go, the uh, Iron Man 2 Walmart exclusive movie series 6 inch Mark V. I hope this video has been helpful to many of you who have been wondering about the figure, whether it was a worthy purchase or not. Thanks for watching.